Hi, today I will show you how to remove AT&T toolbar from Yahoo. Uh, this is not a virus or any kind of adware, but uh, possibly you would like to remove it if it uh, got on your PC somehow. For example, with some AT&T services, comes bundled with some Yahoo programs possibly. Um, don't know how, but possibly you want to remove it. Um, first of all, you need to close the browsers and go to Control Panel, Programs and Features, and find two programs, AT&T Net Toolbar and Yahoo Software Update. Uh, uninstall both, first of all, AT&T Net Toolbar. Um, now we don't want to share our experience. Okay. And now Yahoo Software Update. Oops, seems to be busy process. Okay, let's go to our browsers and check how are they doing. Uh, well, uh, toolbar is gone from Internet Explorer, but searching homepage still redirected to AT&T. Uh, let's check Firefox. Toolbar is still present in Firefox, we need to remove it. To remove toolbar, go to Firefox add-ons and remove AT&T Net toolbar. OK, toolbar removed. Let's check if we can remove Yahoo Software Update now. Yes, uninstall. Close. And let's go and clean our browser settings. First of all, Internet Explorer. It's 10th version. Okay. Uh, Go to uh, Internet Options. And use New Tab as your default homepage. Or you can use any page, type any page you would like to see the home page. Delete your browsing history to remove possibly some temporary files belonging to this toolbar. Click apply and go to managing add-ons, search providers and you need to set any other search engine as default to remove AT&T. You can find some search providers on the Microsoft portal. Okay, I think we are done with Internet Explorer. It's clean, perfect. And go to Firefox. First of all, remove AT&T Yahoo from search engine list. Let's Google be default. Go to Options, uh, Restore Homepage to Default, and now you need to go Edit Configuration File about colon config. This command will allow you to edit configuration. Type ATT and reset parameters containing uh, ATT or Yahoo, for example default engine, default search engine list. Uh, basically, uh, items that were recently changed or created are in bold and you can reset them by right-clicking and resetting. Okay, that's it. I think all parameters belonging to AT&T toolbar we removed or reset it. Let's check. Perfectly clean. And one more thing you can do is to use CCleaner to remove possibly some orphans, some um, temporary files and register keys belonging to AT&T that were removed. Uh, or you can type um, search in registry for AT&T um, or Yahoo, possibly to find and remove some remaining keys. 
Also, you can start searching um, for some additional files. But uh, in my case, there is nothing really found in registry. And uh, hard disk. So, probably better to use CCleaner or similar program. Thanks for watching. Goodbye. See you next videos.